In Lent, we traditionally wear the purple vestment, but today we are wearing white for a very special reason. We're celebrating the memory of an American saint, Catherine Drexel. Catherine was born in the midst of the 19th century in Philadelphia to an extraordinarily wealthy family. As a young woman, she was introduced into the society. She had a private rail car. She traveled Europe extensively. But she was so touched with the reality of life for those who are so oppressed in this country, especially the Native American and the black populations. And so she walked away from her fortune, the $12 million she inherited, and she started giving money away. And finally, she gave all that she had. The headline read, giving all seven million for God. And she found a religious community and spent her life in service to those who oppressed in our country. You know, almsgiving is an important part of Lent. This past week, we had so many requests from Giving Tuesday to a lot of charitable organizations. Every time I opened my computer or looked at my phone, there was a request to support somebody on Giving Tuesday. It got a little overwhelming. But then it dawned on me, you know, what have I been doing this past year? I've been wearing basically the same three sweatshirts. I've been hardly going out. I have this money sitting in my checking account. Why not give it to those who need it? You know, it's so easy for us to think about, well, let somebody else do it, or I have to hold on to what I have. But we know that when we give, it comes back to us in more ways that we can ever count. That's true almsgiving. Catherine Drexel emptying herself so totally. God may not be asking that of us, but certainly there are opportunities every day to be more generous with what we have, not just with our finances, but with our time, and certainly in these times with our faith and our hope. And so let almsgiving take on a new meaning for you during these days of Lent. How generous are you when it comes to helping other people? It's not up to everybody else. It's up to each of us. Maybe that's something we should be praying about a little more as we continue our Lenten journey.